kupendekeza serikali za kaunti kutenga asilimia 25% ya bajeti zao kuwasaidia watu wanaoishi na matatizo ya afya ya kekili. Wakizungumza wakati wa kuadhimisha siku ya bipolar duniani wanachama wa muungano huo wamesema serikali haijatoa pesa, pesa ama ufadhili wa kutosha kuboresha, kuboresha afya, afya ya kiakili wa wakenya. wakenya. Tuweze kupata taarifa hiyo ambayo imeandaliwa na Warisima. Katika taarifa kwa vyombo vya habari washikandao wa muungano wa gonjo wa bipolar nchini walilalamikia gharama za juu za kupata dawa za kutibu ugonjwa huo wakisema serikali inahitaji kuyapa kipaumbele magonjwa yanayoathiri afya za kiakili za wakenya wengi kama vile ugonjwa wa bipolar to the government what i will say let them increase on mental health financing and for nhif for nhif cover i will say let them increase the cover for outpatient since the medicines for treating bipolar they are very very expensive and many of the times even in our mental health hospital like madhari mental hospital where i go you don't get the, the the drugs in the in their stores so you have to buy it and it is very very expensive buying from our pockets as as we speak today uh, half a million people live with one million people live with one mental illness or another uh, in a severe state so that gives you the magnitude of the number of people who are living uh, with mental illness in general and that should be an epidemic uh, should be declared an epidemic uh, by the government so that gives you the degree of the investment that is needed you saw when we had the covid pandemic uh, we've had the aids uh, epidemic and you've seen the investments that have gone into hiv and aids so if and the national uh, health action plan calls for um, for, for the government to declare mental illness an epidemic and if you compare that with uh, the other epidemic that has been declared which is hiv aids you can see now the kind of resources that are needed zaidi wametaja unyanyapaa na kutengwa kama moja wapo ya matatizo wanaoyapitia wagonjwa bipolar nchini kwani wengi wabagua kwa kuwalinganisha na vichaa licha ya kuwa watu wengi wanaoishi na ugonjwa huo wana uwezo mkubwa wa kikazi we need the political class to come out um, uh, and speak strongly against stigma recently we had one of the jubilee uh, leaders uh, attacking uh, his his opponent by claiming that that opponent had a mental illness this is very wrong and you saw that statement that came out from uh, jeremiah kion i think the secretary general of jubilee those are the kind of statements that we don't need from political leaders we've seen in the especially in this campaign period uh, people using uh, mental illness or uh, using terms related to mental illness to for political reasons to attack their opponents wengi wanaugua bipolar hupata maradhi hayo kutoka kwa wazazi wao na dalili zake ni pamoja na vipindi vya kukosa usingizi kujitenga na watu na kufanya kazi kupita kiasi waris kimathi look up tv nairobi na mwasante sana waris kimathi kwa taarifa hiyo